okay so what you want to do you want to go under your cloudflare account and you go to ssl the tab ssl tls you click on create certificate under the tab origin server so you click on create certificate you will see here you have a uh, root uh, server and uh, your root and then your with card you click on uh, create that will be 15 years of self-signed certificate and you will have those two those two you want to copy them into a text edit uh, prior you click on ok so you copy in it into a text edit the first one would be uh, a dot pem certificate so you copy it you save it as a dot pem certificate so any name you want to put it on and that would be dot pem certificate and then once you're done you say uh, save and then you say use that pem you're good now you're gonna do the same thing also if you open a new um, uh, uh, window on the text edit you want to make it plain text make plain text okay so once you're done you go to private key you copy it you paste that in and you want to put any name you want but you save it as that key okay so you save it as a that key and you remove the uh, extension that txt and uh, txt you remove that and then you say save uh, and once you click on save you say use that key and uh, you're pretty much good now that you're good you're gonna now click on ok okay you're gonna click on ok and over here you go now back to your c panel on your c panel you'll be able to search for ssl here you can see that we have a dv certificate already but we don't want that we want the new one so you're gonna click on ssl and ssl slash tls you're gonna open it and you want to look for the generate uh, um, under certificate CRT the one that says CRT okay you click on this one and we want to upload but this upload will be a copy paste so you open back your um, um, text edit with uh, the PEM the first one so your key that PEM you copy everything from begin certificate until end certificate you will paste that into it and you will see different information and in that description is anything you want you put anything and then you save the certificate once you do so you go back with the gonna do the same thing for uh, the, the private key you look for SSL again we click on this one and you want now under the private keys you want to click on this one right here on under private keys so you're gonna click on the, the generate and so forth we want to upload a new private key but the upload here it will be the copy and paste so you will bring out the that key that you save you start from the begin private key all the way down in private key you paste that here the solution is anything that you want you put it in and once you're done you click on save and once you click on save it gives you the id and that's about it now we want to install or in our case update the certificate so you want to open again certificate and we want to look for manage okay ssl sites and right there you want to click it manage SSL, ssl site so once you click on that one you will want to update the current certificate in our case we want to click on update if you did not have it will be installed but our case is updated because there is already one so once you do so you go to browse you look for the um, one that you just installed right and then you say use certificate and then that would be three different things that you will see uh, bundle the pm and the private key those three will just sign in and then let you know that you, you you're all good and it will tell tell you 15 years now we, we can verify your certificate you go on you click on this one and then you click on uh, on right there you will see that it is uh, gonna expire in the year from the time of march uh, so that's because i did it prior so um if we go down you can see we will see here the with card there you go here we have the root okay the root website and then the root domain and the with card domain we have them all good well installed so anything that comes prior your root uh, and domain will be covered by this ssl because it is with card ssl so um, now you also can go under uh, sslshopper.com 
and you can also check over there you can see here that, that we have something that expired in 276 days all the way to uh, march 12 2021 uh, i mean 2022 and then we all good so um that's pretty much what that is and once you are good here you want to go back to your cloud fair and you want to go on the overview make sure that you select full street okay full street and also the ssl tls recommender you want that on and after that you want to go to edge certificates you want to also use uh, the always use https and here if you click here you can see that uh, we have the expiration date all the way to 2020 to one here that's good so the certificate that is a uh, public where everybody has to navigate that's one here if you go to origin server you want to also make sure that you have on the authenticated uh, origin pools if you have a whm you want to disable the auto ssl so you will uh, search for ssl on, and then manage uh, auto ssl and then you go under manage auto ssl you will go to manage users and you want to look for your user and then you will click on disable auto ssl and once you've done so you're pretty much good that's all that you have to do and if we go again and make uh, another verification you will see here no valid certificate don't worry about it because you have now a self-signed certificate inside a server that is directly linked to Cloudflare and it doesn't really matter as long as Cloudflare covers it. So you can see here, if we come back, you can see on the SSL shopper that it is very clear. We have everything. If we open a website, we have no error. The connection is secure. If you open a certificate, it tells you it's valid. That's all. Thank you and bye-bye.